lovelies, Miss Whitbourne here and welcome to day four of our week of short videos together just to give you a bit of an idea with your learning today. Okay, we're going to go for phonics. We've got our last go round at our three sounds. So hopefully now you're feeling super confident with those and maybe even you're starting to spot them in words, which is the tricky part of it all, isn't it? Once you know them, is spotting them in the middle of words. So let's have a go. Oh, fabulous. E, wonderful. And the last one is I. Fantastic. Right, we're going to jumble those up and have one more go at them. Oh, wonderful. I. Brilliant. And the last one is E. Fantastic. Now, for the next bit of the session today, you will need your purple writing book and you will need a pencil as well. And what you're going to do is have a go at writing a sentence. So I'm going to read out a sentence to you. I'm going to read it three times. But if you miss it or if you need more repetitions there are two options the first one is to rewind me and have a listen you can have a listen as many times as you like and the other option is to have a look on the weekly overview which is hopefully emailed out to you but if you haven't had it it's also on the school website and that has the sentence written down and then you could find an adult or an older brother or sister to read it to you okay the first time through. Are we listening? Are we ready with our pencil and our writing book? And are we sitting comfortably? Okay, the sentence is, I can see a goat up high on the road. Okay, I'm going to go for it again. I can see a goat up high on the road. Now, just before I read it for the last time, but as I say, rewind it if you need it again. Just a little clue that all three of the digraphs we've been learning this week are in that sentence. So if you can have them in front of you, then that might be really helpful. Okay, the last time I'm gonna say it then. I can see a goat up high on the road. So good luck with that. And I would love to see a photo of your sentence if you have one. Okay, right, the last part of phonics then is to take that book that you've been working really hard on all week, find an adult or a brother or sister and swap so that you are reading the opposite pages from the ones that you read yesterday. Okay, now on to maths, which is money that we're learning about. And there's another video, which again, I will link down there. And what we would love you to do today is to create a shop. So your shop would consist of a shopkeeper, of course, lots of things that you could sell and with prices on, and then lots of little 1p coins. Because unless you're feeling really confident, we would love you then to call people over to come and buy your things and buy things. So practice buying and selling only using, unless you're feeling really confident, only using 1p coins. If you are feeling confident um, and you think you can count in either your twos or your fives or your tens, then using twos, fives or 10ps would also be amazing. So I will leave that one up to you. Have an amazing day and I will see you tomorrow for our last video of the week. Bye for now.